What's up guys, Ryan here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I jump my car using After Effects. By no means is this video promoting trying to jump an actual car. Here's the rock clip. Okay, I'll jump this car. Matt, get ready! All right, hit it! So pretty cool, like it honestly looks super real. So let's break it down how I do it. So what I did is I had two shots. I had my camera set up on a tripod and I had the one shot of my car going and then immediately after, without moving the camera or anything, I set up these boxes, which I'll show later, and I jumped over it. So here's a clip of the car. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that clip down into a timeline in Premiere. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file, we're gonna hit up Adobe Dynamic Link, and then we're gonna replace this video with an After Effects composition. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take us into After Effects, and we're gonna be able to rotoscope my car. I'm gonna walk through you know, the steps of rotoscoping, but it'll help if you go watch a tutorial. So we have the video here, it's this green, green bar at the bottom of the screen, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna double click it, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up a layer. And then once you have that layer opened up, you're gonna hit this icon over here on the left, and what that is, that's the rotoscope icon. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a green circle. So with that green circle, you're just gonna start coloring in your car frame by frame. Now some basic key shortcuts you wanna know when you're rotoscoping. If you wanna change the size of the brush, hold down the command key and move your mouse up or down. That's gonna make it bigger or smaller. And then if you wanna subtract something that, that you don't want in the rotoscope, hit the Alt key. That's gonna change your green circle to a red circle. And with that, you can pretty much take out whatever you don't want. So now we're just gonna go by frame by frame. I'm kinda doing the sloppy, just for time's sake. But when you do the real one, make sure you be pretty exact. So once you have the car out of the frame, you're gonna wanna freeze the rotoscope. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna lock all the frames in place, and it's gonna let you edit this in Adobe Premiere. We're going back into Premiere Pro, and this is what it looks like. My car is just riding off into darkness. Okay, now here is the second shot. So I had two boxes and stacked on top of each other, five feet tall. I like this because I want it to make it look like I conged my car, and I want it to make a sound as well. But another way you could do it is you get like something that you have to jump over that's the exact same height as the car, so you know how high you have to jump. Huh? So I'm gonna drag the box is over to the timeline, and then I'm gonna to wanna to put my rotoscope car on top, and let's take a look how it looks. That's pretty cool. Obviously, the boxes are still there. I gotta get rid of those. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out my car now. So we're gonna go to the mask tool over here, and I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm just gonna start selecting the points around this box. You wanna be really exact. That's what it looks like. And then you're gonna hit the invert button. What that's gonna do, it's gonna flip the mask. So now we're gonna zoom back out. And then I'm gonna need to drag original clip with the car shot. I need to put it beneath so it can fill in that black space. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right, so it looks Pretty cool and really close to the original. Obviously, the mask was kind of bad on the box, but uh, there's a problem. As you can see, as I'm running, my feet actually get in the shadow and they're cut out of the shot. So in order to fix this, we're gonna need to keyframe the mask and we're gonna need to change it frame by frame. I'm gonna go to the frame where my feet are just out of the, sh out of the mask, okay? And I'm gonna hit a keyframe. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna lock the frame into place and then I'm gonna go forward a frame and I'm just gonna start moving that mask around, around my feet. I don't want it to show the shadow of the box. So we're just gonna start playing around with it, making sure it's getting, just getting the feet, not including the shadow of the box. And we're gonna just do this frame by frame. A little tedious, but worth it in the end. Okay. So you can see I'm just gonna go around my foot there. And then as I go up to the top, 
I'm gonna need to, you can see my hands goes goes in the box. Okay, so I'm just gonna slowly just start cutting things out, making sure I'm not showing the box, and then we'll go through for the whole car, and boom, we're done. But there's one thing missing, and that's my shadow. So I'm gonna go open up a new color mat. It's just a solid color that'll fit the whole screen. So I'm gonna open up, and I wanna get a black one. Hit OK, I'm gonna drag it on top of everything. I'm just gonna trim it just where I want it. And then I'm gonna draw out just a rough shape, just kind of like a trapezoid type shape. I'm gonna turn down the opacity to make it look like a shadow. So I'm gonna turn it down to 56%. I'm gonna move that shadow around to make it look like me. And then slowly, you're just gonna keyframe it and then you're gonna blend it to that original shadow. And then once it's in the frame, you dissolve that out. I'm gonna do that by keyframing the opacity from 100 to 0%. So this is what the original shot looks like now in slow-mo. So you can see my feet, there's no interference, no box. You can even look on top where my hands. Then once I leave the car, you can see my shadow below. It's moving, that's a fake shadow the whole time. And then it starts right here, starts blending into the original shadow. Can't even tell. It's like honestly, like the first time you see this, it looks super real. Everything from the salt flying off my shoe to this glove here that moves by it from the wind of the car. Yeah, it fooled, fooled most people. So yeah, so obviously do not try to jump a car. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It's Ryan Shirley and we'll see you later.